Hi, my name is Tristan Bennett. I go by Turtle on Trail. And this is my duplex tent. I set it up with my trekking pole holding this up and I stake it out so the tension keeps for the rest of it. It's a good tent, keeps the rain off and does its job. Tell us what kind of tent it is. It's a Z-Pack duplex. Z-Pack duplex. What's under the tent? Uh, underneath the tent is a ground cloth just made out of construction Tyvek that keeps me from wearing a hole in the bottom of my tent. Right. We forgot to bring yours on this trail, so in Hiawassee, Georgia, we asked some construction workers to cut us a piece, and they did, and we got it for free. Yeah. Okay, this is all the gear that you should have if you want to hike for 2,000 miles. Uh, got right here my sleeping bag quilt. It looks huge, but it packs down really light because it's made of down. And yeah, it's a quilt sleeping bag, so I can use it whether I'm in my tent or in my hammock or pretty much everywhere. It's really lightweight. This is my Z-Pack tent packed down. My earth sack for keeping all the food away from the bears. It's made of a tough fabric so that bears can't scratch through it. And if it's tied up to a tree, it's safe from bears. And mice. And mice, of course. <laughs> Mini bears. bears. Uh, dog food for the puffers, uh, rations cup in case I need to cold soak ramen and eat from there or potatoes or pretty much anything. Uh, switchback sleeping pad, umbrella, hammock, uh, my camp shoes, I wear them when I don't want to put my shoes on in the morning. Uh, this is my battery pack to charge my phone and headphones and this is the cord bag fanny pack to hold snacks and my electronic stuff clothes bag in an 8 liter Osprey compressor bag sack my Melanzana uh, fleece which is famous on trail because they're the best fleeces rain jacket toothbrush and toothpaste um, pillow inflatable uh, toilet paper, um, crap, what is this thing? A headlamp. Oh, this is my headlamp. <laughs> I haven't used it on trail yet. I used to have an old one. Uh, this is J.R. Watkins for chafing cream. Um, this is my cool little sunglasses that... Nice. I put them on weird, didn't I? <laughs> it's alright. If you're hiking on snow, yeah, if I'm hiking in snow, or if I get a migraine, they're really, really helpful. Um, hand sanitizer, bug net, and bug repellent, because the bugs here suck. Ticks, no seams, mosquitoes, they're not fun. I look like a chicken pox survivor because of how many I have. Because he hasn't been using his bug lotion yet. Not yet. 36 days into the trail. Water filtration bag and Sawyer to connect to it. Hook up a water bottle to the end of this and got two liters of clean water in like five or six minutes. And then the backpack to keep it all. All right. All right. And it's a uh, Osprey. Yeah, Exos I've been using 48. Osprey for all four of the three eggs. Not the same bag because I tear them up on trail. But, lucky for us, lifetime warranty on Ospreys. Yay! Yeah. I forgot to mention my spoon. This is my good old trusty spoon. I like it because it never breaks and That's it's got a, nice a really one. long handle. It can reach into really big peanut butter jars to get the bottom peanut butter, which is nice. Uh, on trail, we eat pretty much anything that's high in calories. Cliff bars are a staple of pretty much any breakfast. We also eat a lot of peanut butter because of the protein and the calories. And we eat high sugar snacks. <laughs> Maybe too high sugar, but they have calories, so eat them. Uh, chips for three o'clock snacks because we're hungry pretty much constantly. Uh, we also have mashed potatoes or ramen for lunches, and we have meat sticks or beef jerky if we're lucky for extra protein. And yeah, that's pretty much 
our diet. Sometimes tuna fish. Oh yeah, tuna fish sometimes. <laughs> These are my Topo Ultra Venture Pro shoes and they're gaiters to keep dirt from getting into the shoe, which can really mess you up. Uh, and my darn tough socks underneath, of course, because it's darn tough to have the best socks. Anyway, I like Topo Ultra Venture shoes because they hold up really well on trail and they're really comfortable. I haven't had feet pains with these shoes because they're good shoes.